there you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and slowly and step by step how to make this beautiful element that could be turned into earrings into a center of a bracelet by adding chains or by making a beaded chain it's easy to make and even if you're not familiar with the brick stitch you're gonna be able to make it because I'm revealing you the secrets of brick stitch so stay with me for the later stages of this work I'm providing here a free pattern that uh, you will see during the video and it's a good idea to follow me on Facebook because I will post it there as well after this video is public and what else should I tell you uh, is that um, if you're new here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell and in this way you won't miss my new tutorials. Also like, share and comment and this is a great and amazing support and thank to all of you that do this. Check description for useful resources and a link to the membership option. Okay and now without further ado let's get started to the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 Delica beads, Mayuki Delica and here I'm using black, maybe this is not very visible at this moment, red, blue and white. Here I'm also using chains because I will make this a center of a bracelet. If you want to take this element and make earrings, it's up to you, then you're gonna be using earring findings. If you want to make a beaded chain around it, you won't need these chains here, but now I will show you with these ones. And here I'm using Nymo Nylon Thread, that is 0.3 millimeters, which is size D. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use 11 or 12 to be easier for you. Here I provide a free pattern that I did myself and you, we are gonna be following this during the tutorial. Uh, these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use to attach my jump rings to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to start my work by following this pattern. Okay, and how I'm going to follow it? I will start from this side. First, I will add these three beads here at the top. So, and then I will show you the familiar brick stitch with the next rows. Don't worry if you don't know it. I will show it easy and step by step. So first, I'm taking two black beads. I'm going to slide those down. And as I'm here, I'm going back through the second black one and I'm holding my tail thread and I pull. So you see when I pull I have them next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction. Okay. Then what I want to do is go one more time through this black one. Take just one black and go back through this one. Then here guys you see what I have. I have this top three beads added here. Then I will go in the next row which is black, red and black. And when I make brick stitch if you're not familiar I should tell you that we always start the row with two beads. In this case it's black and red. And then here you see this thread bridge between the two black beads from my previous row I go under it and then what I do is that I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work in this case this is the red one okay then I want to have three beads in this row that is why I'm taking one more bead and I'm going through this thread bridge one more time 
it is the same thread bridge that I've been through with the two beads. It's only one thread bridge of this step. And I'm going through the thread bridge and then I go back through the black one. Okay. Now this is what I have here. And I'm going to flip because it's easier for me to work in this direction. And in this case, my pattern allows to flip because it's all the same from this side and from this side. Okay, then I need a black and a red one for the next row. And what I want to do is go here under this thread bridge. In this case, I have two thread bridges because here I have three beads and I have two thread bridges in between them. So I'm adding a black and a red. Then I go back through the red, which is closer to the center of my work. And I have two more beads attached here. Then I'm going to take one more red because as we said, black, two reds and a black. And I add one. Only uh, the first step is with two beads. When we make brick stitch, then it, I'm adding them one by one. And in the next step, I need one black. And I'm going under the same thread bridge, guys, the last one, the second one. And I go back through this bead here. Now, guys, what I want to do is that I might want to go back here and add a loop of beads at the end of my work because I'm gonna be using this loop of beads to attach my chains. I take five beads and as I'm exiting from this black one I'm going back in circle through it. I'm adding it now and not in the beginning because I think my work is stable, more of a stable one now. So better to add it at this stage. This is just my opinion. You could do it another way if you want. Reinforce. And now I want to exit here at the end again and continue with my work. And I want to flip it because you know I work in this direction and it's easier for me. Then it comes the next row which consists of black, red, white, red and a black. So I start with a black and a red. I go under the first thread bridge. Why I go under the first thread bridge? Because this row is wider than the previous one. So I do increasing brick stitch and when I do increasing brick stitch, I always go through the first thread bridge. If I do a decreasing brick stitch that I'm going to show you later, I will go in the second thread bridge. So now what comes next is a white bead, as far as I remember from my pattern. And then I go through it like this. And I need another red. From here on until the end of this row, I'm adding them one by one, just following the pattern. It's so easy. When you're up to here, it's really easy. And then I take one black. I go under the last thread bridge that I already have been through with my previous bead, which is the red one here. Then I flip and it comes my next row, which is black, red, two whites, red and a black. Okay, black and red. Go under the very first thread bridge that I have here. Go back through the red one, which is closer to the center of my work. Here I have two white beads.
one red and one black and the black is again added at the last thread bridge that I already have been through with the red one okay now this is what I have I don't think it's difficult if you do it step by step okay then I'm here at this row and it comes my next row which consists of red white blue white and red in this case you decrease so uh, as I said in the beginning you always start with two beads a red and a white in this case but there is a slight difference I have my red and a white but now instead instead of going through the first thread bridge that I have here I will go through the second thread bridge which is between the red and the white and why I do this because I decrease which means I have less beads in this row than in my previous one so I go again through the one that is closer to the center of my work but when I decrease I will do an additional step which is to go through the red one and through the black one one more time why I do this because you see how they sit not next to each other but stretching this is because I'm going through the second thread bridge and they stretch a little bit and now I need a blue a white and a red Okay, and I'm gonna be adding them one by one at each thread bridge. okay this is what we have and here at my last step you see I'm not adding another bead at the last thread bridge because I'm decreasing and this row is shorter than the previous one so uh, we flip and we'll continue with the next row okay guys and I'm up to this row and then all of a sudden it comes an increasing brick stitch which is red white two blacks white and red and do you remember how I was making the increasing brick stitch? Yes, a red and a white. I always start with two, both with increasing and decreasing brick stitch. Okay. Then what I do is that I go under the first thread bridge, not under the second like, like I did before, but under the first thread bridge between the red and the white. And I pull then I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work okay this is increasing stitch, com stitch compared to the previous one okay and now I take what comes next are two blue beads one white and one red okay <laughs> Okay, and here again when I make increasing brick stitch I go at the last thread bridge twice first with the white bead and then with the red bead okay this is what I have now and I'm going to flip my work and let me see what type is the next row okay so I just did this one and this one oh it's decreasing because here I have less beads compared to this one so I start with a white and a blue then black blue white and do you remember what I said about the decreasing brick stitch don't go through the first thread bridge but go through the second thread bridge when you make it 
Again, it's the same that you go through the bead that is closer to the center of your work, but you need to reinforce these beads one more time by going through them because otherwise they sit really strange and stretching stretching to one side okay now it's all good and as i said a black a blue and a white Okay, now I have this row ready and I'm going to flip and I will go to, to the next row which is increasing and I start with white and blue, two blacks, blue and white. Okay, I'm gonna show you this faster. Okay, now I have this and now I'm going to flip and I'm going to make the next row. Oh, sorry, here one misses, but here you need to have white. I accidentally deleted this one. So here you have uh, a white, a blue, black, white, black, a blue and a white one. So now... I'm going to start with a white and a blue and because I increase I go through the first thread bridge and I will continue showing this faster until the end of this row. Okay, here we are and it comes the next row which is decreasing and I'll show you one more time decreasing. It starts with a blue and a black and goes under the second thread bridge. I will flip my work to be easier. Okay, first thread bridge, second thread bridge. And then... A black and a blue reinforcing then I have two whites then a black and a blue And here, because I also decrease from this side, I add just one bead at my last thread bridge, okay? So I guess you got the idea. So you will could continue this pattern by yourself. So I'm here at this row and now I have one decreasing 
row and then I increase until the center of my work and I'm gonna be showing you my progress up to here but I'm not gonna be showing you the process of making it because I think you already got it okay so now I'm gonna be doing this row and I'll be back okay and now I have this row ready here and now I'm gonna be doing this row and I'll be back okay and I just did this row pause on the pattern and do it then I'm gonna be showing you the next row which is this one with the red in the middle and is increasing and I'm gonna be back okay guys and now I just did this row here pause and do this if you still haven't now I'm going to flip my work and start my next row which is with two red beads here in the middle and it's again increasing okay I'll do this okay guys and now I just did this row with the two red beads in the middle and now I want to do my largest row uh, which is with the black in the middle which is the center of my work okay I'll do this you could pause on it and do it yourself it's increasing and I'll meet you okay guys and now I'm here in the middle of my work and now I'm gonna be doing this row it will be a decreasing one and I'm gonna be showing you this one faster I start with a black and a white I'm flipping my work and I go under the second thread bridge here because I decrease then I do the familiar step of reinforcement and then I will continue faster until the end of this row adding the beads one by one okay guys and here I am at this step where I just added this row with the two reds in the middle now as you may see this pattern is all the same from here and from here so if you have done it up to here and you get the increasing and the decreasing brick stitch now you could pause on this pattern like this and do it until the end okay continue with this row and I'll meet you uh, at several points here to show you my progress but I think you could handle this by yourself okay guys and I continue with three more rows and now guys I'm here at this point after the three rows and now I have an increasing row then a decreasing row then again an increasing a decreasing a increasing a decreasing and here I have only decreasing rows okay and I'm sure you're gonna be able to do this if you pa pause like this on the pattern and continue from here on okay I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we finish our project and one more thing I wanted to tell you that uh, now you don't even need the pattern because you mirror this side and it is the same like this side so you could watch from here instead of from your pattern but it's up to you the way it's easier for you is the best way okay guys and I hope you paused this video and did this up to here here I'm at this row when I where I need to add a black a red and a black okay here I am and because I decrease I take a black and a red and I go through the second thread bridge here and then I reinforce Okay, this is what I have now I'm going to flip here I need two black beads because I decrease I go through the second thread bridge and there are only two thread bridges reinforce again and 
and here at the end what I want to add is just one black bead adding it like this And I will go again here. Then I will go back through this one. And I'm going to add five more black beads. Okay, and I go back in circle like this. Now I'm going to reinforce, go in my work and make a knot and my work will be ready. Okay guys, and now my element is almost ready. I just need to add here these chains to turn it into a bracelet. If you want, you could do loop only from one side and add an earring finding and make beautiful earrings. Or you could make a beaded chain for the bracelet instead of these chains if you don't have chains. How I do this, I open this jump ring. I put it here in this loop then I put back my chain and I squeeze and I'm going to repeat this guys from the other side of my work as well Okay guys, and now my geometrical brick stitch bracelet is ready. So if you liked it and you want to see more and more videos like this, subscribe with the bell if you still haven't and in this way you won't miss a thing. Also, you might want to follow me on Facebook because there I will post this pattern that I'm using here for this tutorial to download and print it if you want. You could also check description for full list of materials, link to my social networks as I mentioned where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and uh, you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which now besides the other perks is a course of five peyote stitch videos that you could check out thank you so much for watching thank to all of you that like share and comment your support is so valuable to me bye bye from me